Hello everybody, I'm Richard Holdner and welcome to Speed Secrets. This episode is brought to you by the guys at Comp Cams and it's all about, you guessed it, an LS motor. Now we all know that the LS responds very well to a cam swap, but what happens if we put the wrong cam in an LS motor? You know what I'm talking about. What would happen if we took a cathedral port cam and put it in a rec port motor? So what would happen? Let's find out. To find out what would happen if you install a cathedral port cam in a rec port motor, we grabbed our faithful LS3 crate motor from Gander Chevrolet and installed it on the dyno. We then ran it with a factory LS3 cam. After that, we installed a cam originally designed for a cathedral port application. So what happened? Let's check out our test motor and jump on the dyno. LS3 crate motor. Remove the factory valve springs. Install the dual spring upgrade. 92 millimeter fast throttle body. And a fast XFI ECU. Then up on the dyno with a stock cam. Good power with a stock cam. Single bolt versus three bolt. Our comp cathedral port cam. Cam swaps are easy on an LS. Back on the dyno with a new comp cam. Even the wrong cam made big power. Those are serious power gains. Okay guys, the results are in, and as you can see from the power graph, even the installation of the wrong cam in an LS motor is definitely worth power. I mean, that 459 cam improved the power output by 72 horsepower and 26 foot-pounds of torque. And what we liked even more was the power gains were consistent through the entire curve, not just at the top. That's pretty impressive when you consider we put a cathedral port cam in a rec port motor. I guess it just goes to show you, if you've got an LS, it definitely needs a cam swap. I'm Richard Holdner. That's all the time I have. I want to thank the guys at Comp Cams. Join me next time on Speed Secrets.